Hey guys, Fox here. It's time for my November game gods here. I actually got quite a few things because I did do a little traveling. Um, so I hit by a couple game stores and also quite a few pre-orders came out, uh, including a few uh, limited run stuff and something from PlayAsia as well. So let's go ahead and get it started. Uh, first off is a game for the Evercade. One that I actually really do want is Owl's Awakening and Cathedral. These are two 8-bit platforming games. So looking forward to playing this. I did sell my original Evercade. Um, and I only did that because I am picking up the EXP version, which is just a superior version of the Evercade. So, yeah. Onto the Switch. Uh, from Play Asia, I picked up Miracle Snack Shop. Uh, don't know a ton about it, but it looked interesting. It's pretty much you're running a snack shop, and there's probably some uh, dank sim elements, I'm sure. Uh, but uh, looks looks fun, and I like the artwork. So, of course, I picked up the new Pokemon. Uh, I got the double pack here with Scarlet and Violet. Um, in the uh, hopes that my son wants to play Scarlet, and he does, he just hasn't done so yet, and I'm nearly done with Violet. Um, really, the only benefit you get from getting this double pack, besides this cardboard outer box, is you get some Pokeballs. That's about it. But uh, anyway, the game itself, I'm really enjoying. Uh, probably the first Pokemon game that I've really enjoyed all the way through since probably the DS days, so like the Black and Whites. Um, I didn't really care for a whole lot for any of the 3DS ones or, I mean, Let's Go was, was fun, but it was just way too easy and oversimplified. Uh, but, uh, this one, they at least gave a little more effort to, you know, giving some difficulty to the game and, uh, uh, the different, uh, world quests to do and stuff like that. So, um, really had a lot of fun with this one, um, um, it does have some bugs and glitches. It seems uh, a bit unpolished for a Pokemon game. And for something that's such a huge release for Nintendo, you think they would uh, give it a little more attention in that department. But uh, nonetheless, still an excellent Pokemon game. Um, you guys saw this if you watched my Secret Santa unboxing video. But uh, Alex, returned to Mother Base, uh, sent me this Harvestella. Really looking forward to playing this. Really like this cover work too. Um, just, you know, an action game, but also a farming sim. So seems super chill and uh, a lot to do, but it should be a lot of fun. I do love my farm games. Uh, from Limited Run and also a Way Forward game, which I love my Way Forward games, is Cat Girl Without Salad. <laughs> Uh, very bubbly, bright, fun uh, character art here. Um, don't know a lot about it, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, it, if it has way forward on it, I usually order it because I'm pretty sure I'll have fun playing it. Um, but uh, yeah, I will give this a play and I'll have to talk about this later. But it uh, looks, looks interesting and probably fun. Uh, I've got a few... PS5 games. Um, I went ahead and picked up God of War Ragnarok. Haven't gotten to it yet. I will get to it very soon though because I just about done with Pokemon so this is next to be played. Uh, I'm sure you guys heard a lot about it so I just got the regular edition because all the other one editions sold out super quick so but that's okay. Um, a game that I really really need to play. I have this on the switch uh but i do wanted a playstation version uh so i went ahead and picked the ps5 version of ease 8. really love this artwork the color and everything of this one so um huge falcon fan so i definitely need to give this a try i mean this game's been out for what i don't know six five six years or something like that <laughs> maybe longer i need to play it so i'll be probably playing this version 
Another limited run release. It's a Kimco RPG, but it's Alphidia Genesis 2. I did play the first one in the series, and uh, I enjoyed myself. Nothing super special, but uh, uh, it was a well put together. You know, it was a decent RPG, you know, because these all seem like these Kimco RPGs are made from like like an RPG maker style thing. So uh, very simple, um, but. Dialogue can be fun. Some of the stories are fun, and the battling is is, is decent enough. So, and another gift from Alex, and that was Star Ocean: The Divine Force. Um, not sure what I'm gonna start right after I finish God of War. I'm leaning towards one of these games that I got from Alex, either Star Ocean or Harvest Stella. We will see. I'm not sure. I'll have to think about it. Let's move on to some retro stuff. One Game Boy game. And I got this during my trip down to Florida, visiting a bunch of game stores in the Tampa area. Uh, but I did finally pick up a copy of Wario Blast, uh, which is, this is pretty much a Bomberman game. As you can see, you see the Bomberman in the bomb. Uh, but it's actually pretty decent. It's it's pretty fun. Got a bunch of Game Gear games. And I picked up a copy of Shinobi. I got the Majors Pro Baseball. GP Rider. Yeah, some of these need a, a little cart cleanup. Legend of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse. This label is a little iffy on condition, but readable. World class leaderboard golf. <laughs> like my handheld golf games, though. Taz, an escape from Mars. And then the last Game Gear game here is NFL 95, Sega Sports one. John, Joe Montana on the front there. All new, apparently. <laughs> I did pick up a very clean copy of Popeye for the NES. I did not own a copy of this game, so I was happy to get it. Um, a couple RPGs that I don't have on the PlayStation, which I'm actually there's actually quite a few, but I don't look as hard for them. But um, I found these while I was in Tampa, so got a copy of Dragon Seeds. Um, so if I remember correctly, this is kind of similar to Pokemon in a way. I think it came out around the same time. Um, this is one of those Jalco games. Um, uh, Bublin on here on YouTube did a whole series on the PlayStation Jalco games, if you want to check those out. Um, so yeah, this is a monster battler similar to Pokemon. Here's one I've been meaning to get for actually quite a long time. And that's Jade Cocoon. This is also another monster gathering game, from what I understand. So, yeah. All those early 3D polygons looking amazing. But uh, yeah, I hear a lot of good things about Jake Cocoon, so I'll gladly be playing it. And I think I have the strategy guide for it. One Sega Saturn game, uh, and it's a favorite of mine, or at least it was on the computer. I'm sure this version is not nearly as good. <laughs> uh, but it is Warcraft 2, The Dark Saga. Early Blizzard RTS, and I'm sure this should be fun to control without a mouse and keyboard. But uh, you know what? I don't care. I'll give it a shot. It'll be fun. And it'll bring me down memory lane. I used to play uh, Warcraft 2 quite a bit. All right, down to, let's see here, I got a console finally. So I finally got myself 
a Game Boy Advance SP for a steal of a deal. I can't believe how little they were selling. They're selling it for 70 bucks. I was like, what? Is it a reshell? Is there something wrong with it? They're like, no. I was like, well, I'll take it then. And that's this Legend of Zelda Game Boy Advance SP. It is a 001, so it doesn't have the good screen on it, but uh, that's okay. I did, I, this is one of the only Game Boys I did not own, so I'm happy I found it, let alone I found a special edition of it. Works great. Um, yeah, that's just a muck up there. Uh, screen looks good, buttons are all responsive and everything, so it was pretty well kept, and usually these things, shells, you can see the beats and scratches on them, they're usually far worse than that. Um, but the back look good, battery still holds a charge, and of course we got a charger here. So, a few of the systems I'm missing for, from Nintendo that I don't have, but I'm really looking for. Um, one, more importantly than the other, is a Virtual Boy. I'd love to find one of those. Um, and the other thing I don't have is a NES Top Loader. Um, other than that, I would have, I have every single Nintendo, Nintendo piece of hardware uh, released in North America. So. Slowly working on that, but uh, as you guys know, my main focus is working designs now, but of course there's none here. I'll have to wait till the next working designs hunt video. All right, bunch of manuals next. So with that Popeye game, I also got the manual, which is actually really clean. Um, let's see here. Bunch of Game Gear manuals here. So got a matching manual to one of the games, which is the Majors Pro Baseball. Um, I'm not sure if I have this one yet, but I found Arch Rivals, the arcade game. Comedic baseball, uh, basketball game there. Uh, let's see here, MLBPA Baseball, Major League Baseball Players Association game. Uh, this is one I don't think I have, which is RBA Baseball 94 for the game here. But um, when I see the manuals, I'll grab them. Super Off-Road. Pretty sure I have that. NBA Jam, I know I have, actually. I'm, no, so in the box, I have NBA Jam Tournament Edition. So I don't have this actual original NBA Jam man, manual. Uh, copy of Echo Dolphin. Red Couples Golf, Sonic Spinball. I have that one complete in the box, but like I said, when I find the manuals, I try to grab them. And then I got some inserts here. And this one I believe is for, yeah, the NES. So this is one with Super Mario Brothers 3 on it talking about some stuff and then some ads. I like these. I'll usually throw these in the frame and sometimes put them up somewhere. I've got a Sega one here. Unfold this real quick. Ah, yes. This one will be hard to see, but it's got uh, Jurassic Park on one side. And on the back, more ads for different games. And this one's a Game Gear one. With the Genesis on the back. Open this one up. Ah, oh, yes. And this one on its poster side has an ad for Game Gear ad for Batman Returns. And on the back, we got ads for Game Gear games. All right, guys, last thing here is, if you remember from my last pickups video, I ordered a Ren pin from Pinbox. But the box was a little messed up where they are trying to stab the pin in to hold it in place. Um, and the red pin itself had a few minor defects on the back. 
So I took some pictures and sent them off to Pinbox to ask them if they could send me at least a, a replacement uh, box uh, so I can display it properly because I like to display these Pinbox pins in their boxes because the boxes are equally just as great. So they reached out and they said, very sorry that you had a defective product and they didn't like that. So they went ahead and sent me a box here with no holes. Which is great, which is really the only thing I wanted, but they also sent me another Ren pen, which I was like, that's not necessary, but thank you very much. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to display this one in this new box and try to just be very careful about placing her in there. So hopefully she sticks properly in the box. And then I will have an extra one. So I'll have to uh, probably, I don't know, sell it off or give it away to a buddy or something. The the other pen, other Ren fans out there like uh, Double May Pie or something like that. Anyway, guys, that's all the pickups for the month of November. And uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope you guys have a fun holiday season.